Hello and welcome to videos on fly fishing. Today I'm gonna tie a little fly for you, Madam X, very known fly. Uh, I have a uh, piece of it in my vice now. Uh, well, just get on with it. Well, on this fly I use this hook, Elm dry fly hook, size 10. And I use some uh, deer hair for the wing and some Semperfly 80 thread in orange and some rubber legs from Fly Tires Dungeon. Also, I use some super fine waterproof dubbing in this color out of here. You can also use brown on it. Maybe I take brown on it today. Okay. Then I just place a hook in my vise. Check out one. The vise is a stone for transformer. If everyone wants to know. If someone wants to know. Uh, also, I use this a hair stacker to make the tips even. I'm gonna show you how. Okay, start with attach my thread, wrap on, back down to the hook band, snip off like that. Okay, I clip off a little piece of this. About that, I think, and I use my fingers to just pull out the fluff between the hairs, like that. I could tie it in right now, but I stack it. I'm gonna stack it, place it in the stacker. Can use your hand as some other surface. Just peel out, and you see the tip is just aligned like that. I measure out how long I want the tips. About that, I think. And I'm gonna take out some stragglers here. Use my thread. Some securing wraps first and just some loose wraps to catch all the hairs and keep on holding the tips like that you gonna fix all this strugglish you gonna take out all these loose hairs and use the thread to tidy up all these little things sticking out all the loose thread ends also use the thread to even up like that and I'm gonna touch my dubbing I take the brown olive olive one this one take out uh, some don't take on too much. Little is better. Take them, make a nice slim noodle on the thread, so you don't act bulky on your. Okay. Well, try to make it become an even body attaching wraps take out some more dubbing okay I 
I make wraps all the way to the hook eye. I don't want the thread showing in between. Not so much anyway. Okay. Wind back a little bit. Back and back and forwards. And now I'm gonna attach the wing. I'm gonna take out some more little clump. Cut off. Repeat the procedure. Take out the fluff in between the hairs. Like that. And stack it. Put it in my stacker. Uh, the stacker has to be with a hard button. Non, don't have, uh, do not buy a stacker with a soft bottom because it will not stack as good. Then I'm gonna turn this over. I think that's more easy for me, and I. Measure out how long the wing will be by looking at the points and just way back like that. I think about you have to see for yourself and some loose wraps and tidy up some more. If you use some GSP thread, don't try too hard because you will cut the thread, cut uh, the hairs. This is not GSP, so I have to be a little more careful so I don't ruin my thread. Okay, I use my scissors to snip off as close as I can to the thread wraps without cutting the thread like that I think you could use cut in an angle but I think it it will be okay okay some very tight wraps now and you're gonna cover all this with dubbing like that okay just try to make the wraps go all the way up to the hook eye because you won't, don't want any gaps okay now let's gather all the hairs in one clump and I take out some more dubbing dub on my thread like that Try to just make attaching wraps all the way to cover all the threads. Try to, if you miss a spot, it doesn't matter to the fish, but the fisherman watch, uh, notice it. So, well, I use my rotary wise technique to just see what's underneath have some more dubbing on it try to just cover it up I think that's okay you see the wing should maybe have been a little longer but that's okay that's okay I don't like so much wing the way I do this, some use a ballpoint pen cover like BIC or something. Uh, I just use my fingers. I collect all the hairs in one clump, tie down with my thread. Like that. Make some 
attaching wraps to make a little orange belt like this as I said the wing could have been a little longer but that don't matter now I'm gonna attach the rubber legs I prepared the two rubber legs I take the two of them put them on top attach with some wraps like that and take out the one piece one side drag it to this right position and attach some more wraps like that and I'm gonna use my wood finish by hand to make it all come together some half inches I'm gonna cover all this with the with some lacquer afterwards so it will stick like that three should be enough and snip off the thread like that okay if you want some markings on the legs that's easy to do you just take one side the two pair just stretch on it make some markings use your maybe i should a little more because well maybe i should have some long legs like that and turn it with once around take the other side Like that now we've got the markings and I'm gonna use my scissor to snip off the legs to the right length my scissor is a little dull so I have used the inside the scissors just to make it cut properly try not to cut the hair the hair like that well there you have almost the finished Manamex and I take out find my dubbing needle where that will be I find one here okay take a little lacquer this is the type I use not, it's nothing special because it's very thin and seeps in to the wrappings and came make it all come together like that put on a cap and the fly stone Maramex ready to fit go out and catch some fraud and little information for the interested you can to protect the bullet head attach some lacquer on the head as well but that's up to you well that's all for now folks and uh, thank you all for watching my videos i appreciate you very much and uh, uh subscribe subscribe to my channel i try to post uh, videos in as soon as I get an ID so uh, well thank you all and thank you for watching